very good evening to you, uh, Mr. Piri. Yes. And thank you again for agreeing to have a conversation with us again at such a late hour. It's 10 p.m. Yes. And it looks like men at work. Yes. Why is that so? <laughs> What's we, the plan? It's an emergency project. Uh, timelines are tight. As I said uh, last week when you were here, this was a uh, pit. Now you can see it's still is fixed. We are putting concrete. We don't have tomorrow, we have tonight. And uh, if we don't pour tonight, uh, precision concrete is not available tomorrow to the end of the week. So how long is this work going to take? Um, remember you just talked to us that last week when we were here, it was particularly empty, there was nothing here yeah. but just sand. Yeah. So how long is this steel works of concrete going to take place? Well, the steel works for foundation and everything. The first uh, cement was poured. Uh, for the foundation. Now this is a foundation to bring the steel up and uh, uh, once we have poured today, in about uh, tomorrow we will start putting the steel to the top, to the size of that uh, 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 tank. Mm -hmm. And we put shutters, then we will put more cement before the end of next week. I right? <laughs> Most likely. If not, uh, we will uh, uh, maybe pause for uh, the 11th of January, but within the two weeks of January we should be done with this tank. It's a feeder tank. This is a feeder tank and I understand it's one of the most critical parts Absolutely. of the 100 kilometer Absolutely. pipeline. Without this one, the system will not work. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here, that's why every engineer, every manager, you can see all of them, they are here. And that's why precision uh, concrete Look at their tanks arriving. And uh, that's why all of the people are here. We have to achieve this one. This one, there is no, there is no failure here. For someone who doesn't understand engineering, yes. um, please explain what the feeder tank is all about and the importance of the feeder tank in the pipeline. The feeder tank basically really is a hoarding uh, uh, tank to pump water constantly now to the last uh, uh, stage, which is uh, Mamachia, it's about 20 kilometers from here. So here is the highest point. So uh, it's, there is the, uh, the natural flow, apart from the valves uh, pushing the water uh, to the treatment plant or to the uh, distributing point at Mamachia. It's 10, it's 10 p.m.? Yes. I see men at work. Yeah. Are you paying over time? There is nobody who is not paid who can work at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so slavery ended a long time ago in our area, in our part of the world. Nobody works for free. They definitely are working here knowing they will get um, uh, uh, that, that extra money, that extra pay over time. That is stipulated by states. And how are you assuring that there is good quality control, especially that you're working at night. We had here Mr. Uh, Mujapuko Mujapuko. He's, you just missed him by 20 minutes. He's been here the whole night. And from who, what's five his portfolio? Of, well, he's the RE, resident engineer on the entire water system. He's just left now. We wouldn't start pouring without his go ahead. So he came in here. But apart from him, all these engineers that are here are quality controllers. There is uh, 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 Hero, there is Mike Dos Santos, there is uh, 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 Wisdom, Wisdom and uh, Brighton. So we all, they are all here to make sure that the steel fixing is proper, uh, that everything is tight, the shutter hands have done their part of the... They just left the shutter hands, guys. But we are here uh, to see everything through. You. Um, last, last time when we talked, I remember you talked about Ntologi and you talked about Mike Dos Santos. Yes. yes. Mike Dos Santos, from this side of the, uh, of the, uh, the southern part, he is the man in charge. From here, the northern side, uh, Ntologi is the man in charge. So this is how it is here. Yeah, they are all here because this is very important. Uh, it's important for both of them. So it has to be done right. Yeah. There's a, there's a question that says, um, is this not the company that was banned in South Africa because of corruption? 
Well, in South Africa, we have uh, big projects. We are doing Sadana for Transnet. We are at Hammarskjöld doing a lot of work for the city of Swane. We just finished a big project for uh, Jobbeck Road, uh, Johannesburg Road Agency. Uh, we are in Pulukwane City doing so and, and what I don't know what that character is talking about. These are losers. Let them talk nonsense like they will talk. It's nothing. Albert. There's nothing. The company has never been banned. We are on the treasury database. We are live there. I mean, bend for what? <laughs> bend for what? This is a company that is alive. Um, Rentology. Maybe you can tell us about your experience um, working in the pipeline and, and tell us how how it's been for you and for the locals, local here. Can I, maybe you can tell us your experience on the pipeline and the work that you've done thus far. Are you happy with it? Yeah, yes. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity. Um, myself, um, to tell you about my experience, I've been involved in a couple of these uh, pipeline project, uh, particularly the North South Korea number two. Um, I was involved in uh, uh, that project from uh, Moralani to Palape. Mm -hmm. It was also a design and build kind of uh, pipe, uh, a steel pipeline. Mm -hmm. Basically, I think 1.2 diameter. And then uh, over and above that, I've also been involved in a couple of uh, pipelines. I also did some pipelines in uh, uh, Makakarape for, for the Tswana, uh, which was basically uh, uh, some distribution pipeline for the boreholes, um, uh, 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 taking uh, water from the boreholes, mm -hmm. uh, six number boreholes, uh, to, to the substation. So is it adequate enough for, for one to say you have enough experience to be able to carry such a big project? Yes, I also did another one, I think uh, recently in 2017, 2018, in Tunisia. It was basically a 60 kilometer uh, pipeline from Matatani to Fijo mm. to, to Moletima. Yes, I would say that because I've done uh, almost similar work to what we are doing today, mm -hmm. uh, uh, particularly in Palat. Mm. Yes. The, the, the chairman earlier talked about precision, um, which is the one that's providing the cement. Um, maybe talk about Precision. Is it a local company as well? Yes, Precision is a local company which is uh, uh, fully registered here and they've been operating here. I think uh, from what I know, they started as a small company. They were basically doing a uh, placing of concrete for uh, bigger companies around town. So now they've got a, a very big establishment, I think in block, uh, what is that, I think about block 8. What is that area called? Block 8, uh, um, somewhere around there. Okay. So I think uh, maybe all what I can say is that because of the capacity that they have in terms of uh, supplying ready mixed concrete, I think this is the reason why we, we chose them to partner with them in this, uh, in this project. I think other than that, we would basically fail in terms of uh, you know, the supply of concrete. Because as you can see, the amount of concrete that we do here a lot of concrete i mean ranging from uh, 100 cubes uh, that we need to do in a day so they are one of the companies that can afford maybe to supply us with more than 10 trucks you know and they are basically more like uh, professionals or they specialize in uh, uh, ready mixed concrete which makes them better suited to to do this job mm -hmm. and then um is, is i look at i'm looking at the the missionary they're using, is it one of the reasons why you also decided to, to go with them? Yeah, no. one of a kind. Yes, of course, because the placement uh, method uh, also is very important. I mean, if you look at the amount of concrete that you are placing, uh, this kind of method that we are using, one which is called a pump. So it is, this pump can actually produce, I think, about, uh, you know, 32 cubes per, per an hour. Uh, as opposed to using uh, a bucket in the crane, which is much lower uh, in terms of placing. We would take uh, maybe, uh, maybe 12 hours to do this amount of concrete, as opposed to 
using a pump. Basically, you take half of uh, the time that you take when you use a crane. Mm -hmm. yes. So, um, when are you anticipating that the work of the, the, the cement will be will be put in place? To the which, times to which level? To the next level. To remember when you're talking to the chairman earlier, he said you're going to put it up and then cross it and then take it up again. So, how long would it take you to be able to pull in the steels? Um, I think the steel. I can say, I think uh, when we when we commence, I think around the, the 11th, that first week, we should be done with the steel. Because now we are, we we need to finish the, the slab in between. This portion that we are doing is called the donuts, uh, the outside portion. So we still need to do the the, the slab, the one that you can see on that area, on that, uh, those pie-like uh, 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 shapes that is in between. Era. So. I think uh, for tomorrow, uh, going onwards, after we remove this shutter, then we'll start with the steel, with the steel for the base, which we anticipate to finish uh, this week. Right. Yes. Um, any last words from you? Well, or would you like someone else to speak? See, yeah, we have Mike the Santos, we have Zero, uh, uh, Wisdom. Give them a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dos Santos. You, it's Mike, oh, Mike Mr. DeSantos. Mr. Mike DeSantos. No, 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 not the Mr. Mike is fine. Mr. Oh, Mike, yes, okay. Mike um, Mike, yes. um, you are also here. Um, how has it been? Your, how has been your experience in working with this pipeline and, look, and working with the locals here? Well, I must admit, I, I, I've, I've worked a lot in the whole of Africa, most of Africa, um, and the experience in Botswana has been very good. I must admit that. Um, it's a lot more the workforce uh, are plentiful and they're pretty good at what they do uh, and uh, we've got a lot of skill that's in the country which helps us a lot so uh, we've employed a lot of people in that, in that type of line um, to assist us with this project you know as Chairman Nate said it's an emergency project and for us to have the right skill and the right amount of people is very important for us Unfortunately, Botswana has been able to assist us with that time. What's so your experience clear. with the work ethic? There have been complaints in the past, um, or speculation in the past, that the work ethic in Botswana is not necessarily at a good standard. What's been your experience working in the pipeline? To be honest with you, I don't see anything wrong with the work ethic at all. I must be honest, it's been very good. Uh, the um, community has been good. The people that work for us are good, so the ethic is very good. The guys are punctual. Um, and they're willing to work. As you can see, we're sitting at now, I think, at drop past 10 at night, and we have a whole team of people working. Business ethic is good. And have you been transferring um, your skills to locals? Yes, we have. So, what we haven't, we haven't sort of brought a lot of people from South Africa, in actual fact, very few. Okay. And most of the guys that we've been having locally. And our HR department has sorted out uh, training sort of facilities for the guys. And we have on, on site training for them as well in the different skills, maybe in the concrete, maybe steel fixing, maybe that type of thing. So, yes, we are transferring skills. So, so, by the time you're done with the pipeline, um, would you be able to see one or two people who would be your probably your second in command or wow. your mentees? Wow, you know, probably at your standard. Very much so. To? Very much so. You know, I think that's our whole goal. Uh, as our chairman has always said to us, you know, we are and we have to stay. And that means that we need to take the local guys and, and bring them into the company and make sure that they're part of the business. Mm -hmm. You talked about your, the HR people that you have. Yes. How many women would, would, you, would, would you say you have or do you have? At the present moment, we, our, our total workforce, if I'm not mistaken, is about 350 odd people. And we have 17% of those are female. And they are in different activities. They are from uh, ladies that work in the trenches up to operators. And we have two, uh, we have two, two ladies that actually operate our most expensive machinery on site, which are our trenches. Oh yes, we've met them, the two we've out of the four, yes. Yes, it's correct. Yes. That's okay. right. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Erra, how are you? I'm good and how are you? I'm good. Maybe your word, um, as, as part of the people who are working um, in this pipeline, how's been your experience um, in the whole process? I can say I've been involved in the project from the beginning, that was in May when we came in from South Africa. 
they have been working on site on daily basis. Uh, so I'm part of people who are responsible on day to day running of the construction on site. Mm -hmm. So what is your portfolio here? I'm a construction manager responsible okay. for the section for Mama Sia to area. Mm -hmm. So if everything goes wrong, it's on you. If anything goes good, it's on you. Everything goes good and everything is on me. Credit goes to me. Uh, not only myself, but I've got a team of the guys that I work with, like you've got Tiro, and we also have uh, some of our guys, uh, that is the tradesmen, mm -hmm. that is the shutter and the concrete and the steel fixers. We also have good performance that we have here, the local guys that were employed here in Botswana, that we are working together with mm -hmm. this project. And then you talked about Tiro, so what does Tiro do? Uh, Tiro works as a site agent and is very close, and is very close to me, mm -hmm. working together. Uh, what we do is when we run business together during the day, uh, we coordinate on whatever we do on daily basis. So the communication between me and Tiro is the same. That goes to the team that implements what goes on the ground. Tiro, yes. um, your portfolio, is it the same portfolio? No, Are you uh, also a manager? No, I'm not a manager, but I'm a site agent. Mm -hmm. I report to the construction manager. Uh, I'm a young engineer. Maybe explain your, your portfolio, what it means when you say a site manager. For a someone who doesn't agent. understand, a site agent, someone yes. who does not understand engineering techniques and engineering um, principles. Principles, yes. A site agent means that uh, I am the person supervising and responsible for all the site activities. So if there's any site activity which will be going on, I'm the person to see. And uh, also my responsibility is to supervise the foreman and all the works and, and make sure that everything is uh, in order. Your qualifications? My qualifications. And maybe your experience um, in the field? Yes, I have four and a half years experience. I graduated at UV in 2016. At? At University of Botswana. Oh, okay. In 2016. And uh, I graduated in Bachelor of Engineering Civil Engineering. Mm -hmm. Is this your first job? No, this is my actually my third project. Your third project? Yes. And how's been your experience between the other project you've done and this project? My experience uh, would be that this is an extremely challenging project due to the time frame. But uh, as you can see, we are trying by all means to make sure that we stick with it. But uh, I'd say that uh, so far we're doing so good in the country. Okay. And in terms of skills transfer, um, how has that been? Are they teaching you? Or are they letting you learn on your own? Uh, it's a mixture of both. They are teaching me and I'm let and they're letting me learn on my own. And I'm also transferring what I know to the people that I'm supervising. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Maybe you um you can tell us um your portfolio and also your names. My name is Wisdom Chitsinde. I'm the resident design engineer here on this project. Please speak a bit louder. Okay. We missed the, the first part. I said, my name is Wisdom Chitsinde. I'm the resident design engineer on the project. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what the, does a resident design um, do? What, what is your portfolio? Uh, it entails making sure that when construction is done, it's done to the design standards that would have been specified on the construction course. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's partly what we do. Mm -hmm. yes. And and tell us about your experience um, in the project. On this project, Ever. you mean? Yeah. No, it has been quite some good experience. Uh, the local experience, especially that we got, was quite impressive. We have been moving on pace, mostly because of the engagement and the work ethic of the locals here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. <laughs> Maybe your last word, Chairman. But before that, they someone says, The project is well on time. May God bless you and protect you from any danger. Yes. Well, thanks for such goodwill towards us. There will be those characters that are simply nasty. Kato has never been banned anywhere. We have had uh, some hiccups like any other business, but not anything to go criminal to any. Uh, we've never conducted any of our business criminally. 
we are really uh, professionals. And um, I, as chairman and shareholder, I really know my, myself. I know my affairs. They are above board. Kato is a real, real company, not a joke. So I would just say that uh, all our adversaries and friends, we are here. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> we are staying. We'll get this system done. It will be delivered by April, May. There will be water flowing, and that's something that we are doing. We know it will be done. Right. And uh, all I would was, was say to you is that with the tight schedule, what we have done is to increase the period by increasing working hours, also increasing the workforce. Instead of having 20 teams, we have about 33. And uh, working, uh, knocking off at 10, others at 12. Like today, we should knock off around 12, 2 o'clock. And I'm here to give support and encourage and give morale. Are you going to be here as well as the chairman till 2 p.m.? 2 a.m.? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'll be here. I'll be here throughout. Okay. I'm always here. I knock off 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and I'm here. And uh, as you can see, the intention is to really get the cement, I mean the concrete, onto the steel. And that's what we are doing. Most companies have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. Have you been affected? And if you've been affected, oh, um, how co so? COVID has affected everybody. Like the delivery of pipes have been very slow from the border with the convoy and all of that. We think we should have finished with the pipe delivery, but uh, the, the response to COVID-19 has been so rigorous by the government that it's in other uh, uh, time is actually uh, a delay for our pipe delivery. But again, there have been some people who have been found with uh, COVID-19. We have to isolate and uh, that means that team comes to a halt. We have to isolate, check if that spread, and once we have got the clear, we start all over. It has affected us, definitely it has. Yeah. And then in closing, there's, a, there's someone who's saying, I'm a chief officer, can I please have a job there? <laughs> Look, the more jobs we get in future, uh, we'll give quite a lot of people chances to join us. And um, this place is for everybody. This company is a public company. It's for everybody in Botswana. Uh, the benefit, the, the benefit features of this uh, uh, company are Botswana. This is the truth. It's not just Simbi Piri and his family. No, it's actually many families we have touched only with this particular job. So um, the the lady or the the lady? Yes. I, I assume it's a lady. Well, she can apply. And we always keep the CVs because people come, people go. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and all the best. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, there's a lady on site. Yeah, she is. Hello. Sorry. Hi. As, as, as they were telling you, there are a lot of ladies here. As they were telling you, there are a lot of ladies. Uh, it's not just men. And you can see he's working in the middle of the night. Yes. Yeah. A lot of us do here. Yeah. I came here in September, September the 1st, spring day. I've been here since. And I can tell you, I'm here 90% of the time, I'm here in the night. Maybe since you've been here in September, there have been talks that Botswana are lazy. There have been reports that Botswana are lazy and they don't do the work. Maybe speak on that. No, What's there's, been your no experience? Such, there's no such thing as Botswana are lazy. Uh, Koreans are hardworking. It's management. Yeah. Everything is management. You must have uh, well motivated management. Directors that know what they want to achieve. They must resource the workers with the best equipment, the right equipment, at the same time material supply, like 
steel, uh, concrete. It must come payments. There are many things that must be there to get a product on. Now, that is my job. There are things I need to do. I need to order after talking to engineers, after talking to project managers, pro, uh, project managers, project programmers. All of these people give us a direction on how we are going to spend. What materials do we buy? What equipment do we procure? What, uh, what starts first, what comes second? Everything must synchronize. So the problem is not workers. The problem is the owners of the companies, they either don't know what they are doing or they know half the story and they think they know and they will blame workers, yet it's them. It's not workers, it's supervisors, foremen, managers, directors and shareholders. Those are the people who must take the blame when people are sluggish. I came in here, as I said the last time in September, there was sluggishness, it ended. Everybody is willing to work, but they are motivated properly. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.